in this video let's create our footer section so in our components i'm going to create a new file i'm going to call it footer.js and here we're going to say export default we're going to say function and the name will be footer and here we are going to say return we are going to return a div with a class of footer so div and the class name will be footer and inside our footer we are going to have some sections so we are going to say footer dash section our footer will have one two three section okay so let me just close this div first so like so each of our section will have a paragraph with a class name of title so we're going to say class name equals to title let me just copy this Control c paste it Control p and then we'll have some regular paragraph text also so again let me just copy this here so Control c paste it Control v we'll have another one and this one will say at 2021 all right reserved Control v instead of saying at we're going to say and sign c o p y copy for the copyright symbol like so and we are going to copy this whole section two more time so all shift down down okay for the second one let's just say contact us so let me copy this Control c paste it and then we're going to have this email And we are going to copy this two more times so I'll shift down down let me just copy the rest like this okay now let's use it in our app components so let's go to our app.js here we're going to say import we want to import footer from components for slash footer and we have to place our footer outside our container so here so we're going to say footer save and this is how they look like no style applied at all so let's style them so let's go here so first we have this footer class so copy this control c and let's go to our index.scss first let me cut all of this so control x and inside our partials folder we're going to create a new file we're going to call it underscore chef section dot j yes like Actually, it's not JS, it should be SCSS. It's a CSS file, SAS file, like so, and paste it, Control V, and close it. And we're going to import that. So we're going to set import partials, and then we called it chef section. And everything still works the same. So now let's target our footer. So we're going to say dot footer. First, we're going to give it a background color. So, background color, and let's just copy the color. So, let me just click on inspect. And this is the color. So, let me copy this. Control C. We're going to paste it. Control V. Save. And this is how they look like. And let's also give it a color. So, we're going to say the color will be our. We we don't want to use any variables. We're simply going to say hashtag FFF white save. And this is how this look like. Okay, our footer will also have a class of container. So now if this have some padding on the left and right. Let's also give it some padding on top and bottom. So we're going to say padding block. So padding dash block. Let's try 4 em. And now we have some padding on top and bottom. Let's see. And 4 em is too much. So let's reduce it to let's say 3 em. And I think this should be good enough for now. We'll change it later on if needed. But for now, let's just say this will have a display. And the display will be, let's say, grid. So grid. And we forgot a semicolon here. So let me put it. And this is how this looks like. So then we're going to say grid template column. So grid template columns. The first one will be 2HS mass as the other one. So we're going to say 2FR, 1FR, 1FR. Save it. But let me try to refresh. And yeah, now it is working. So as you can see, they have this much width, but the first one has twice as much as this one. Let's also add some gap. So we're going to say grid gap. And the gap can be let's say 1 em. Okay, now inside our footer, we have the footer section. So let me copy this. Control C, Control V. 
inside that we have some paragraph text so let's say our paragraph text actually let me have a semicolon here and the paragraph text will have a opacity so opacity of let's say 0.8 so they are a little bit lighter not completely white but then let's target our paragraph that has a class of title so once with the class of title we'll have opacity of 1 so when you say opacity of 1 like so okay they will also have a font weight of bold so when you say font weight of bold and they will have some margin on the bottom so margin bottom of 1 em like so and let's target the regular paragraph text so they will have some margin on the bottom as well so margin bottom 0.5 em save and this is how this looks like okay let's try to make it 0.9 okay let's say this one will also have a font size so font size of 1.1 em like so and i think this should be pretty close to what we have in our finished project however as you can see this is not responsive so in the next video we're going to make this section and this section all responsive so i'll see you in the next video